everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. How y'all doing today? Let's see. Making sure that everyone can see. All right. I hope y'all can see um my poster that I wrote on. And I'm going to give everyone a chance to log in. And today we're going to be talking about relationship styles, okay? And we're going to be talking about it from the point of view. Um, when I was getting my certification to uh, become a sex coach, um, these are the relationship styles that are the most common. Now, you have other relationship styles um, because sometimes one thing just does not fit Um the mold to everyone, but we're going to talk about the ones that are the most common. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give everyone a chance to log in. And if you can see me and hear me, just tap the like or um, the love button just so that I can know them. I can move forward because I don't like to start the live. And then right when I'm in the middle of it, people are like, oh, you're glitching or we can't hear you or, you know, you're going in and out. So just let me know that you all can see me and you can hear me and I'm clear and we can get started with this live because I know a lot of y'all are at work and stuff like that. So my thing is I like to do these lives. I like to give you the information, but I don't like to keep you all day. Okay. So first of all, when we're talking about relationship styles, let me say this from the very beginning. No relationship style is right or wrong, okay? Again, no relationship style is right or wrong, okay? I have to say that because a lot of times people love to start throwing religion in there and all kind of stuff. So if we're going to get biblical, then we could talk about the men that had multiple wives. And we could talk about all of this because a lot of times what people don't realize is monogamy is something that is practiced over here in the states in the united states everywhere else in the world people can have multiple wives okay so i don't like to talk about what's right and wrong let's talk about what's right for your relationship and not necessarily about the wrong but let's talk about what is right for your relationship and what is right for you because sometimes what's right for you may not be right for the next person and sometimes it ain't even right for your spouse but you know my job is to educate you, give you the knowledge, and then let you form your own conclusion, okay? So, we are going to get started. I see that um, we got about 20 of you here. All right. So, the very first relationship style we're going to talk about is the one that most of us are familiar with, which is the one that most people practice, which is monogamy. Now, when I talk about monogamy, I talk about it from a certain perspective, and I'm putting the definitions on here as we're going. Um, monogamy is supposed to be one man, one woman, or one man, one man, or one woman, one woman. In other words, I pick one person, I say vows, and I pledge to be with one person forever for the rest of my life. This one person is going to give me everything that I need for the rest of my life. That's what I sign up for when I sign up for monogamy. Oh, Let's talk oh. about that. A few weeks ago, well, I'm not going to say a few weeks ago, about a week ago, I put up a question about the percentage of cheating and infidelity in relationships. And we all can agree that the numbers are astronomically high right we all can agree that the the rate of, of infidelity is extremely high right this is what we all said when we did the video i mean when i when i did the post yesterday there was somebody that put up a post and she basically was saying that um all men cheat and she had the capital a l l all men cheat so then another person said what well, cheating in what sense Physically, emotionally, sexually, like what what type of cheating are you talking about? And she said they do all of them. Okay. I don't like to say just men do all of them. I'm going to say humans. Humans tend to want to get their needs met from multiple places. 
That's like saying that I can only go to McDonald's and get my burger. I ain't supposed to have a taste for Wendy's. I ain't supposed to have a taste for Burger King. I'm not supposed to even have a taste for a homemade burger. That's basically what monogamy is. And if we are truthful and honest with ourselves, we would say that monogamy is what is taught to us. Monogamy is what is forced down our throats. But it's obvious that it's not working, at least not in the sense that it's supposed to be working as in one man, one woman or one woman, one woman or one man, one man. If that was the case, then we wouldn't have all of this infidelity. If we're going to talk sex talk, let's talk honest sex talk. OK. And you can ask your questions and you can give your feedback because I can see everything that everybody is saying. OK, so. I'm a monogamous person. I'm a monogamous person by choice. Monogamy is a choice. A lot of times people sign up for monogamy because they're afraid to tell the person that I want to build and have children with that sometimes I may desire to do something different. People are afraid to say that. So they walk down the aisle. They say I do to make you feel good <coughs> or to make him feel good when you know damn well you don't have no intentions on holding up on your end of monogamy. If y'all saw something else happening, let me know. Please let me know. <coughs> I, I don't see nobody saying that, so I'm going to assume that y'all all in agreement with me, right? Okay. Moving on. Polygamy. Polygamy is, most people think of polygamy as one man with a bunch of wives. But polygamy can be one man with a bunch of wives or one woman with a bunch of husbands. Poly means that it's more than one person that you are married to or have a relationship with. So I'm about to put that definition up here next. Um... I like to look at it as a sense of multiple spouses. And the reason why I like to look at it as multiple spouses is because my personal belief is you can have as many wives or many husbands as you want. But most times it's one man taking on multiple wives. You don't really see a lot of times a lot of women taking on multiple husbands. Um, and for that reason, a lot of times people taking on multiple when a woman takes on a husband and she agrees to have a sister wife, a lot of times when they're building their legacy, he can provide for all of these households. That was the reason that people did it because they can afford to do it. My position is you can have as many wives as you want as long as you can take care of all of them. If you can take care of all of these households, then you have as many as you want. The reason why I feel like it wouldn't work for me personally is because you may be able to take care of each household financially, but you can't be in multiple places at one time. So that's why it wouldn't work for me. But for another woman, she may say that, you know what? I'm really good at cooking. I am I'm excellent at cooking. Well, if I had a sister wife, then she may be excellent at taking care of kids, but I'm excellent at cooking. Another sister wife may be a business owner, meaning that she could go out there and get the bag, but she's not really able to take care of kids and cook. But she could still provide by going out there and getting the bag. Of course, the husband going to get the bag, but then you may have another sister wife that is brilliant, meaning that she is extremely smart. Well, she can choose to not even let the children go to school, and she can homeschool all of the children because she's brilliant. So that means in that sense, everybody has something that they are bringing to the table in the family, which makes the family stronger. So a lot of times people look at polygamy as a way of building a strong family because everybody is bringing their best to the table. Okay. Moving on. Open relationships. Open relationships. And I'm going to give you from the term because I had to go through all of my paperwork. Um, when I was working on my certification. So I went through all of my paperwork and just basically pulled these terms and put them in my notes. Open relationship or marriage in which both partners agree that each person may have sexual relationships with others. 
Now, let me tell you about open relationships. Normally, when people are doing open relationships, they are actually having a spouse and then they're having another household or another side person that they continue to go back to over and over and over and over again. Open relationship is not you going dibble and dabble over here, you going dibble and dabble over there, you going dibble and dabble over there. No, 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 no. Open relationship is I'm your wife. You have another woman. I know who this woman is. She lives in another house. You don't bring her here, but I know that she exists. I know who her children are. I know if y'all have children together. I know literally everything that's going on with this relationship, and I know, and I'm okay with it. Meaning that I know you're not just going randomly pick somebody to sleep with. We're going to get to what that is in a second. But open relationship is a little more organized. Meaning that I know what's going on. I know that you're over there and I'm okay with it. Which is different than polygamy because with polygamy, I have a sister wife and we have some type of bond to where we're helping each other. And we feel like this is the greater good for our family. Whereas the open relationship is you literally have two separate relationships going on that are paralleling with each other, but they're not ever crossing over and to each other. That means that if I got a, my, my husband got an open relationship and this woman needs somebody to pick her children up from school, she can't call me. Because y'all just in an open relationship, you're not my sister wife. Me and you're not trying to build nothing together. Right? And in all of these relationships that I'm talking about, these people are not all piling up in one bed and having these mass orgies either. That's not what that's about. Okay? Uh, swinging. Let's talk about swinging. Swinging is when you basically are doing this for fun, recreation. Ain't no bonds coming along with it. I don't necessarily need to know who you is and where you from. I just need to know that you got a clean status, that you know that you tested, and you're not positive for anything. This is just a way for the couple that's together to bring excitement into their relationship, they may opt to bring in a person, which people like to call it a threesome, whether they bring in another man or another woman, it's still a threesome, meaning it's not a relationship that is formed from this. That means it's not poly because me and you not sister wives or anything like that. It's not that type of party, but this is just strictly for fun, strictly for recreation, uh, we're going to go out there, we're going to have fun, we're going to do us, we're going to sleep with different people. We may even have group sex with different people. And then we're going to bring our ass home and go back to our regular life. Okay, I don't know who this is, but y'all hold on. The reason I go live is because... y'all okay so sorry about that all right so with that being said um swinging is strictly recreational that's that's all it is it's not anybody necessarily um trying to make this thing last forever or build anything okay then we have polymory okay this is when I want to make sure I'm putting all my notes up here. This is when I engage. I'm not married to nobody. But I engage in multiple relationships with different people. And you engage with multiple people. Meaning that me and you together, we dating and we go together. But we both dealing with multiple people on both ends. But the thing is, we know all of the people that each other dealing with. It's not anything hidden. That's the key word. Nothing is hidden. Now, let me tell you why I respect all of these relationships. Every last one of them under monogamy. Because I feel like these relationships 
have the most honesty out of all of the, uh, more honesty than monogamy will ever have. These relationships allow you to be honest with the person that you with so that they can know what you want in your expectations. Relationship and archer basically means that there are no rules. You have to do what works best for you and your partner in the relationship. Let me tell you about monogamy. Why people get hurt by monogamy. Because monogamy has you thinking your relationship is one thing when really your relationship got other shit going on that you don't know about. So the question is, would you rather know or would you rather not know? That is the real question. Me personally, I can respect the motherfucker bringing honesty to me any day. I can respect your honesty way more than I can respect the lie or betrayal. Give me the choice and if I want to even deal with all of that. Because you never know. I may be open to it. I just may be open to say, you know what? It ain't for me, but I ain't opposed to you doing you. Or I might say, you know what? If this is what you want to do, let's open this shit all the way up and we both can do it. What I don't like is all of the betrayal and the hurt and the depression and the anxiety and all of the shit that go along with trying to maintain this shit here. When it comes down to monogamy, everybody ain't built for it. And a lot of times people, when they're young, and when I say young, meaning under 40, and I'm going to say under 40, because they get in relationships when they 18, 19, 20 years old, and they're not ready to settle down. They're not ready for this. But this is what's forced on them, and it's made to make it, it makes them feel like it's right. But I have daughters, and you know what I tell them? Don't get serious with nobody. This is the shit you need to be practicing right here. Meaning that if you want to date other people, you date other people, and they date other people, and y'all all know who each other dating. It don't necessarily mean sexual relationships. But you need to be able to have the freedom to date multiple people without in fear of being labeled. Because when you're doing this, you get honesty. You can say, you know what? It ain't a good time for me to hook up with you tonight because I'm going over there by Jessica's. People want to talk about disease. There's too much shit out there and disease and disease and disease. This is where the fucking disease is at. Right here. Let me tell you something. When I got into this industry over 10 years ago, it opened my mind up to a whole new world. And I started realizing that this ain't the only way. Even though this is what works for me in my personal life, because I just don't have the desire to give myself to multiple people. I'm a very mental person. It, it, you have to be able to mentally stimulate me, but I'm not going to even talk to another man long enough for him to mentally stimulate me because I have boundaries put up in place. So I'm a very mental person. So for me, it's a, it's a completely different ball game. But what I'm saying is this while a disease at, this while a hurt at, this while a shame at, this while a competition at, this way it's at right here in monogamy. Because people don't want to keep it real and not, not only that a lot of times women won't even allow men to keep it real with them because you don't want to hear that he don't want you to be the only one so therefore he gonna tell you you're the only one because you want to be lied to some of y'all want to hear a lie you don't even want to hear the truth and you can't even handle the truth if he told you the truth you can't handle it and he know you can't handle it that's why he continues to lie to you but one thing that I don't want is a motherfucking liar. You be upfront with me and you let me know what the fuck it is. That way I can know how to move. See this here? Y'all ain't using no condoms. Why is y'all talking about diseases is all here? A lot of these people are having protective sex. Because they understand the risk of what it is that they're doing. They understand the risk. Here, y'all ain't using no motherfucking condom. He just come from fucking that hoe and you didn't know about it. And guess what? You put that dick right in your mouth. Because you want to be lied to. So sometimes when I'm listening to women and they talking about different relationship styles and how they are open to alternative relationship styles because this shit just ain't working for them. 
because they tired of being hurt and lied to. And they would much rather a motherfucker keep it 100 with them by some of this shit here. I understand where you're coming from, my baby. I, I completely understand where you're coming from. Because I'm the person that sit here in the store and watch these motherfucking married men come up in here and buy shit for their wife and their old lady. I see this. I have seen a man come here and bought lingerie for his side woman. But he paid so much money for it. So he said, give me another, give me a, a, a second bag with Tisha in it. Just in case when my side woman take this out and she mess it up, because I'm going to repackage this and give it to my wife. Because I paid too much money for this for only for it to only be one, one time. My side woman can't bring it home because she can't wear it for her husband. And I'm going to bring it home, but I'm going to re-gift it for my wife. Do you want a motherfucker being low down and, and dishonest to you like that? Because this is the shit that I see on a regular basis. These men is not loyal at all. So my thing is, why not look at some of these other relationship styles if you're insisting on being with them? You ain't trying to lock that shit down and be by yourself, which some women do. And I commend you all, the ones that actually lock this shit down and be like, you know what? I'm just going to wait until God send me what I'm looking for. I commend you. I think that is a very noble and honorable thing to do. Come see me. I got toys. That will help get you, will help sustain you until God sends them. I do. But most people are not shedding shit down and they still gonna go back and forth and dibble and dabble with that same motherfucker that hurt them, with the man that they know who ain't doing this. And then y'all wanna get on here and wanna have ownership over people. You don't own people. If you had control of a motherfucker doing what they were supposed to do, bitch, you better than God. You better than God. Want me to tell you why? Because he don't even have control over people. He give us all free will to make choices to do what we're going to do. And then we have to deal with whatever consequences come along with him. But he don't control us, so what makes you think you can? Open relationships. I'm not trying to sway people one way or another. All I'm trying to do is give you the information so you can see which style works best for you. Personally, this is what I'm into because I don't want to give myself to nobody else. I ain't speaking for Spencer Parker. I'm speaking for Sharonda Parker. Now, if Spencer Parker decided he want to do something different, all he got to do is come and tell me. And then I'm going to make the decision on if I want to roll with it or if it just ain't going to work for me. It's just that simple. Relationships ain't got to be hard and you ain't got to be lying to each other. So that is going to conclude my sex talk with Sharonda. The kangaroo is still buy one, get one free. So if you did not take advantage of it yesterday, come to the store today and take advantage of the buy one, get one free. Uh, the store hours 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the website is www.dppgstore.com. We still have whole bags in stock. We've been doing so. They, they've been selling so fast, literally everywhere. Um... My husband actually making me some more. This is the last batch we making though. Because like I told him, this is exclusive. This is the last of them. So once once we sell out of these, that's a wrap. So if you wasn't able to get them on your last pay period, this pay period you able to get it, come see me. Go to the website and purchase it. Y'all be blessed. Have a wonderful day.